Hello everyone. So I would like to talk about a uh, clan hall which is implemented from the last update. So and now like now it's like there are more features to the game and I will try to run a basic um, walkthrough through the, the uh, clan hall so so you can have an idea. I think it's um, quite important for guild leaders especially when you are trying to plan your uh, what to do with your clan hall. Now the first part that I would like to uh, talk about is the higher keeper. So there are three different levels of the keeper that you can have. One will be uh, the rookie, second is a veteran, the third will be the reputable, reputable keeper. Now you can set it, uh, there's, there's a setting here that says that the, IO, uh, the auto higher setting, by the way it's the um, this keeper they they get resets every uh, every uh, Monday uh, Sunday uh, Monday morning, so um, by default they are considered rookie keepers, so you have the option to like upgrade them to veteran or reputable. Now, after uh, after a few after this week, what I felt is um, the most important will be probably uh, between the quest keeper and the relic keeper because. The, what the relic keeper does is it it gives you um uh, it lets you uh open open your uh like the clan chest uh, appraise your item I will I will show to you in a, in a while so if you have three uh at a reputable keeper level you have three of them so you can uh, open three chests um at at one time so it's like it's quite similar to um. Like the Clash Royale chess and things like that, but the the quest keeper, I I felt that it's almost equally important. So um, so what I'll do is I will for me I will the when when it comes tomorrow, what I'll do is I will up I will upgrade it to a to a reputable keeper. Now for the potion keeper, I've, I've I feel that you can you can do it this way. You can have it a rookie one week. Then the next week probably you can have it at, at a veteran level or the reputable keeper. So what uh, what this means is you can save some, um, but uh, you can save some Adina by uh, by uh, by like planning your potion in advance. So it's like uh, one week you don't hire, then the next week then you hire. Um, yeah, I think the most uh, if you look at this uh, it uses your clan uh, clan goal. I think the more the most expensive, I think, is the relic, the the relic keeper at a reputable level. So it costs like five four hundred thousand. So feast keeper, uh, um, you can set it at at veteran level, veteran or rookie. I think the the only time that you really want a feast keeper is when you are having a fortress war on on the week. So before the fortress war, then you want to buff up all the members. So the main the main thing that you will be using will be will be for that uh for that purpose. So now let's uh, let's get into uh slightly in depth more details. Now the first one that I would like to talk about is uh, the relic. So relic currently we have it at uh, reputable. So as you can see, like uh it you can just continuously open chests. So what this does is um if your clan member is able to like open more chests, so it's like. It, it just gives some uh, extra like uh, resources for your clan members so and and also you have like there's a mystic clan uh, there's a mystic uh, relic we I haven't really tried to open it to, to see what the what, what it gives but it should be giving some good stuff yeah so yeah I would highly recommend this to be like one of the one of the priority for you to to uh, to hire the reputable one that means the max to, to max it out. The next one is a uh, quest. Yeah, quest. Uh, quest is quite interesting. So basically, you need to gather materials. So I uh, will. Uh, I will also recommend you to to hire it at a at a reputable level. So ba uh, basically, you have a. I think the more, um, the more what you call. They ha you have like individual and also week uh the weekly ones, so. Uh, or the individual ones like every every day you are able to choose one so every member can choose one i think i think if you hire it at a reputable level you you have more options the the same thing as this the this is the weekly so 
um, what, whatever it gives, it, it just gives like bonuses to to personal and also for the clan. So the, this uh, this is quite important uh, be, because the wood is very very important. I will I will I'll mention it to you to you in a in a in a while. So it benefits the whole clan. Uh, so that's a, that's a, that's the idea of it. So I will, yeah, currently if you can see my grade is veteran keeper. If I knew knew this earlier, probably I would definitely definitely have it at reputable level. Because it's like it's just like so, uh, so it just gives the clans so many resources. Now the the next one is uh, potions. So potions. So potions. Uh, currently we are at a reputable level. So you can see like if you unlock the if you unlock the what you call uh the sorry if you un unlock the reputable one. Currently we are in the veteran level. If you unlock the reputable one. So you can craft uh, additional potions, uh. but due to due to amount of resources that you have is limited, so you can't really like uh, you don't really uh, to be to be frank you only use a potion during uh, during like fortress war and things. So um, you can craft like everything one shot. So what I'll suggest you is like for a week you, you basically have a rookie. So it's like no one will like you will just craft the most basic potion if you if you happen to need it so then the next week what you can do is you can just uh hire a reputable or veteran so that you can craft better better potions so you can see like potions uh basically you have three resources like the life crystal the chill crystal and and the and the uh flame so flame is like damage the chill is more towards uh for defensive potions and the uh, and the uh, uh, the life is for uh, movement speed and and etc. So you have the option of a personal potion, uh, which you can craft for your own use. So usually it's, you can see it's an extra five minutes buff. The clan potion it it also uh you can um you can use it during battle and usually it lasts like fifteen to thirty seconds. So some of the important potions. Let me try to point us out the personal. For example, like this one is quite good. Like increases physical defense uh, by ten percent for five minutes, and also some of them like yeah physical attack by ten percent for five minutes. So these are like uh, you can choose like physical. And you can have both uh, usually physical and magical attack. So for the clan, for the clan one, the good one is this. So you can you can see like this one. Uh, this one is quite good. Uh, yeah. It increases uh, your defense by hundred percent for tank, and also this one. This one it uh, increases your member speed by thirty percent. So, so it's quite good. Another one is uh, you can also slow down your opponent, but yeah. So, so like, and you just need to plan prop. Uh, I mean, the guild, guild leader will need to plan ahead, and to to see what are the potions that is required. Now, the next one that. I would like to mention it will be the feast. So as you can see, like you have like three different feasts. Uh, uh, small feast will be for five, medium feast is for fifteen, large feast is for twenty-five. And then and below here is the material that you require for the feast. So for every feast you have like different settings. You have regular, fancy, and luxurious. It, what it means that um, you can have um, small, medium, large. What what's the difference is between the numbers of people that can that can have the buff, whereas a regular fancy and luxurious basically it it, it provides a more more stats. So you can see like for example like this is five hundred. So if you click like fancy, so it's like almost more than double, and the luxury one it's like almost double, and also it plus like crit rate. So it's like the luxury one is like it's 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 like definitely good, but at the same time. The item requirement it's has increased so probably you can see like this is 90 90 45 then the next one will be 60 60 30 and 30 30 15 so and usually what you want to do is you want to have a designated member that that um that farms that farm this type of material on a daily basis so that uh when it comes to when you need to do, uh, have a feast you are able to uh create um, like a luxurious feast or for small f and things like that now the final one that I would like to mention will be the fireplace so uh, this one is there's a lot a lot a lot of experience so what you can do is um, you can uh, you can have a fire site gathering 
the reason I call call it the fireside gathering is uh, I just had I just get a term from the Hearthstone. Yeah, so you have like fireside gathering. So the fireside gathering is basically you when you lit up the fireplace when you click here. So for fifteen minutes you can have a you can have a exp for all your clan members and whoever that is in the uh, clan hall. So I think the EXP is something like 15 minutes. You can get like about 30% EXP based on based on my current level. So yeah, it's it's a, it's about that. And your A line members is able to go into your clan hall to enjoy the benefit as well. So it's like everybody just come into clan hall and get some free EXP. So how how you want to do it is probably you set a time that uh, your clan and your A line clan is able to do it, and and you just have like different clans hosting so probably like one will be host like 30 minutes then the next one host 30 minutes and the next one host 30 minutes so in one half hour probably you can gain like one and a half level or something like that yeah so it's a it's also a good thing because like everybody can just like chat chat because there's like literally like nothing to do when you are at the fireside gathering so so you can chat do some do some weird faces uh, i don't know so I think yeah so have we covered everything yep except for the crystal you need so this will be your uh, your crystal so it's like something like a buff a buff attack for your clan members uh. so yeah usually you will need more fragments uh, and you can get the fragments from quests uh, so and yeah you will want to try to level level it up uh, ASAP uh. well I think uh, that that it is so yeah so clan this is all about clan hall i think i hopefully i covered uh yeah so this is like clan hall so hopefully i i cover everything so yeah thanks for watching again and good night